So this is my Dodge Dart. Um, it's not that bad of an accident. It's not too bad. It's a 2015. Pretty sure it's a base model. Uh, the color is white, so that's good. You know, Florida, everybody loves that white color too. You know, sun and all. But this looks all solid right here, but I'm just not sure. There's no rebar here. The rebar's in the back seat, which probably broke off somehow. It's not bad. I checked the coolant. Coolant is all good. That means radiators are good. Uh, it's kind of a pinched line over there, so I'm gonna figure that out before I test drive this thing. Uh, best thing to do right now is test drive it. I'm about to take off this bumper and zip tie those little plastic things uh, so they don't flop around and take this thing on a test drive because I really need to know if the transmission engine is all good, warm it up all the way, and then we can start rebuilding it. So we'll check it out. So it took me about 15 seconds, unbolted couple bolts and zip tied the bottom piece so it doesn't flop around while I'm driving just to test drive it because the only thing I'm worried about is uh, the tires eating through this plastic part right here when I'm turning but I'm just gonna go about 45 miles per hour nothing more just to get the gist of it make sure tranny's all good make sure I'm not rebuilding this thing for nothing it is a clean title guys if you are wondering <laughs> I bet you're wondering because Florida I mean with uh, salvage titles you got to go through inspection and then people get all sketched and stuff so, you know, clean title, has an accident on history, boo-hoo. Uh, let's check out the rest of the car. It has 45,000 miles. And it's dirty. Obviously, Copart, you know, auctions, they don't care. They'll just step on muddy feet all over the place. I mean, gun it. Who knows what they do with these cars. But it's not bad. I mean, uh, everything works. The only issue, there's a check engine light, and it's running kind of rough. Uh, check the codes, and... Uh, it indicates that there's something ripped off from the bottom over there probably a fan relay and the fans are actually Going really really fast. So that's probably it. Who knows? There's the rebar Black interior. Thank God it's black. Everybody loves black interior. If it's not if it's beige man the price Goes down. So this is the rebar and it got broken off. It snapped off in both places aluminum, you know, it's very 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 fragile so it just snaps and breaks and i will need a new rebar and there's these brackets that come right here they're actually still bolted on the car so that's not too bad all right guys let's take it for a test drive and see if it drives starts uh i actually have to jump it off the trailer but after it charged up a little bit, the battery's fine. Check engine light is on. Let's go test, take it for a test drive. Slightly vibrating, sketchy. Steering seems straight. Super sluggish, but I think that has something to do with the intake piece being off over there could be because of the check engine light on too. I don't know. This thing's kind of strange. Definitely runs and drives, so it doesn't overheat. I guess that's it. <laughs> Couldn't ask for more. Did a test drive. And it, it runs, check engine light, but I, we gotta just sort that out. So yeah, other than the front damage, um, you can tell this bumper was probably replaced before. The outlining of it is slightly off, but it's not bad. There's not really no major damage on it. Nice clean window tint. The only thing I do see is right here. Looks like, uh, yep, that's paint loss. Um, I really do not wanna touch this, I'm gonna just touch of paint you know what I'm saying or I might you know I might paint it I'm just not sure yet the budget on this car is very little so oh crap there's actually dings everywhere and where the fender was hit this door will need to be repaired uh you know bondo paint and blend it's not bad I do have a paint guy I do have a body guy I am just not the type of person to do this kind of work so I'd rather you know get this painted 100 bucks get a new fender which is 35 bucks 
uh, new bumper, which is 50 bucks. These damn cars, man, they're so loud when they pass by. So annoying. These, uh, the suspension was not touched. I looked underneath there and it doesn't seem to be damaged. But obviously after I do all the work, I'm gonna be doing some measurements, alignment, just to be sure. And I think I found out my check engine light. Um, there's, there's whatever this is, I'm not really sure, but it's some sort of shutter on these cars and it attaches right here. I'm not sure what this is. This could be the cause of the check engine light. And this uh, air intake box is deleted. This goes right there and there's a piece missing right there. So great, you know. Underneath here, doesn't seem like too bad except all the way on top here this 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 metal bracket is bent I gotta bend it back make sure nothing's leaking from that this is the bracket uh, for the rebar that I showed you that's in a trunk it's all bent up gotta unscrew this delete it put a uh, buy a brand new one and put it on I am not even get out of here I am not sure what this is um, it looks like it's factory uh, doesn't look like it's cut. I'm not really sure what this is. I'm definitely gonna look it up. It looks like it just touches the bottom of the bumper or something. I don't know. I don't know. It's very weird. Um, yeah. But that's it, guys. This is gonna be my build. This is episode one, I guess, or part one or whatever. We're gonna, next episode, we're gonna start ordering the parts, painting it and assembling it. Uh, this is not going to be a long series. I'm not like those YouTubers that on one car build have 30 videos. It's going to be a couple videos on this build. Nothing much. Appreciate it guys for watching. Have a good day.